morning children today i am going to take dr dwarakanath kotnis dr dwarakanath kotnis that is the name of the person he was a doctor how he became a doctor what is his decision we are going to know so whatever the points you have to remember you keep it in the mind okay ma no other indian can claim the kind of adulation and respect dr dwarakanath kotnis enjoys in china though he was a doctor where he was enjoying in china why he went in china after what we are going to know coming from a family of doctor dr kutmis had always dreamt of belonging a physician act and that war of resistance gave him the perfect opportunity to make himself useful in the battle field he dedicated his entire life working as a battalion from doctor in china and uh, uses the selfless service to the injured chinese soldiers during the second jaimo japanese war dr kutnis contribution to world of humanity will be remembered forever forever means till death we have to remember what was the service done by kutnis for the chinese during the war actually he was a came from the doctor his aim was to become a physician but he was working in china those who injured in the uh, saimo second war but what was the decision entire life he contributed his life towards the chinese people though he was a indian he worked in china so what was his ambition we are going to know dr dwaraknath kotis was born in a lower middle class family on october 10 1910 in sholapur mumbai a vivacious kid by name vivacious means cheerful always by birth he was a very cheerful one there was no unhappy in his face okay ma so vivacious um, kid by name dr kotnis forever aspired to become a doctor after completing his graduation in medicine from gs medical college bombay he went on to pursue pursue means continue after completing his graduation he was continuing his study his post graduation internship however he put aside he put aside mean he put that side his post graduation plans when he got the chance to join the medical aid mission to china this is the first appearance of the dr kotnis dr kotnis was born in the lower class not high family not millionaire family he born for the poor middle class family by birth he was a cheerful person he was a cheerful person there was no unhappy in his face dr kotnis dr kotnis was a cheerful person then he completing his graduation in medicine from gs medical college he completed his doctor course then afterwards they have to do ms that is the post graduation he got a post graduation after not at the company continue his post graduation suddenly he got a post a chance to join in the medical aid mission in china a china so no one should go abroad so no much but nowadays all are going but here when he got a chance to join in the medical aid in 
China. He put aside in the post graduation. He went to the. He decided to join in the medical aid in China. Then afterwards, Doctor Kopnis always. wanted to travel around the world and practice medicine in different parts of the globe what was his decision ma he wanted to travel not for chit chat not to oh, see the sightseeing his aim was to practice the medical to practice the medical is aim he dedicated entire life to serve the injured people so he wanted to travel around the world he wanted to practice the medical practice practice makes a man perfect so as a eighth student you have to practice not to chit chat not to be lazy not to watch tv again and again you lose your knowledge of you lose your strength you lose everything you are going to lose everything but here dr kopnis was traveling around the world to practice in different parts of the globe with in different parts of the places not in one place he didn't say it one place he wanted to practice in different parts of the states then he started his medical expedition in vietnam first he started his expedition in vietnam and then then second one from vietnam moved on to singapore he from vietnam he moved to singapore and uh, brunei in 1937 the communist general jo d requested jawahala nehru when he was moving around the world who was the head of the china he asked jawaharlal nehru remember carefully ma when you are good you will be getting the good name from all when you are bad no one should get anything so practice the first impression is the best impression here how dr kobis got the good name when he was practicing like that then communist general jo d requested he was not ordering that man requesting jawaharlal nehru to send indian physician to china during the second sino japanese war Japanese war to help the soldier. How many doctors he was asking to send? Ma, five Indian doctors to send. He was requesting. He was not ordering. He was requesting. Please, you send five doctors to help the soldier. Those who injured. But the soldier, they asking five doctors. Then uh, the president. Fiji, the, the president of the Indian National Congress, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, accepted the request and made arrangement to send a team of volunteer doctors. Volunteer means willingly, not for the money, selfless, not selfish, selfless who were. Work, who wants to work for the soldier? He selected and made a team and made a team to send five good doctors to China. Then a medical team of five doctors was sent as a part of Indian Medical Mission Team in September nineteen thirty eight. Nineteen thirty eight, the Indian five medical doctors went to China. to help the soldiers who injured in the war how many doctors ma five doctors then the medical team comprised of who are they you remember the name m athal m cholkar d kotnis b k basu and d mukaji these five indian doctors are very famous one these five doctor sent to the sino japanese war those who injured to help them then 
after the war he are very careful after the war all others doctors except dr kopnis returned to india five doctors went after completing the work then four doctors wanted to come back when dr kopni want to stay there only his decision was he wants to sacrifice his life he wanted to help the that people but dr kopni didn't come but four doctors came back to india then what he was doing there he initially started his work in yan and and then went to the anti japanese base area in north china where he worked in the surgical department of the 8th root army general hospital as a, the physician in charge his aim was to become a physician now he was working as a physician in charge physician in charge so whenever you got one determination definitely you have to fulfill the work then abraham lincoln also i told you story also there is not the story there is a real one when he wanted to become so when he read the george washington book he got one uh, idea he got the inspiration of the that book so when he got the inspiration he got one idea first one what did he say he wanted to become the second one i will become there is a very strong determination so i will become the third one his dream became true he became 16th president of america why can't ma so you have to think it while you are doing while you are working while you are reading you should have one idea then only you have to uh, study well then if thou the plans we can't do anything but dr kopnis also wanted to serve in china though he joined in the post graduation he kept aside and he went and joined in the mission aid so he was uh, working as a physician in charge what a great one no more but he was not uh, uh, spending the money his idea he you he was born in the lower family but when you want to become a good not money money makes many things but not all the things so when you got the idea you have to fulfill so so many examples are there no you have you have to take that inspiration when you get the inspiration definitely will come up but here then when he was working as a physician in charge it was while working with the soldier that dr kopnis lost his heart to a chinese woman jo quinglan when he was working his heart lost me have fell in love with the chinese women that my lady name was jo quinggan jo quinggan they were working the same hospital dr kopnis was a, a doctor and that jo was a nurse he was a, she was a nurse and he was a doctor working in the same hospital in november 1941 kopnis married that same lady when he fell in love but he didn't deceive he married that lady then jo and a son was born on august 23rd 1942 they named the boy in hyom in hyom got it they gave a birth to the one boy the boy name was in <coughs> hyo combining the chinese <coughs> character in for india the two names are in hyom so in for india and Here for China, two names mixed, and they gave the name to the uh, son. He worked as a lecturer for some time in the military area at the Doctor Bethen Heizing School. He worked as a teacher in the Heizing School. He looked after the post of the first president of the Bethen International Peace Hospital after Doctor Norman Bethen passed away. After the Norman passed away, passed. Means die. He got that opportunity to work as a professor. 
then after I'll stop there. Tomorrow again I'll continue. So, what was the doctor's ambition ma? to work in the Chinese? Who was, why he wants to select that one? He got a dream. He got a dream. So, when you think like that, definitely you will fulfill the world. So, we should not think anything. What is your future? So, whatever work you have to do with the cheerful faith. But he born with the cheerful faith. So what a lovely man, Noma. He born in the lower family, but not the high family. When you want to do anything, don't depend upon the money. You have to use your skill and knowledge. So you have to utilize. Then only you will come up. Okay, ma, have you understood? Okay, have you completed all the answers, ma? So after completing, don't keep it with you. You have to submit in the office, no? We will uh, correct and send to you. Okay, ma? Don't forget. Some people say, I am I'm keeping with me, ma. Who, who will correct? So, you have to send to the paper, to the office room. We take and uh, correct your papers. Okay? Bye.